One of the great disco anthems, Atomic by Blondie. Um, this has a really cool guitar riff in it, too. Uh, and you could just treat this as like the main riff, I guess you could say. Um, we'll just dive into it. It's a uh, open D string here to G. Then we go fourth fret D. Okay, and that's those three notes are essentially kind of like pickup notes into the full measure here, which is basically we just hit the second fret on the D and hold that for a whole measure. Okay, so it's like something like that, okay? And we're gonna repeat that that whole thing three times. Alright. And to wrap it all up after three times through that, uh, we kind of start it the same way with our uh, three pickup notes, the, the open D, open G to four on the D. All right, but at the last time through, now we're going to hit a second on the G. Whole measure, and then uh, next measure, we'll hit four on the G. Okay. So then you just put the whole thing together. All right, and the chords that are going on during that main riff, um, they're pretty basic chords, but just the, uh, the timing of them and, and the uh, voicing is a little... Uh, interesting here. So um, basically we're just going to worry about the uh, bottom three strings here, the G, B, and E. Okay, and, and it's going to kick off with the E minor chord, so basically we're just hitting those three open. But the timing on it, we kind of want to do it almost like a reggae or something like that, where we're doing uh, off beat and just real kind of staccato strumming. So I uh, just kind of skip the first beat and then just do a quick short strum something like that and basically we're going to do that four times okay two measures worth so all right so just real small offbeat chords here all right and then from there we go to a c chord so basically just you know uh, fret the b on the first fret open g open e and same strumming and timing with that Move on to an A chord, so second on the B, second on the G, open E. All right, and now we kind of switch the timing a little bit by just doing one measure's worth of a D chord, and you know that's just normal D chord, so we're already on the G, B, and E. Okay. Okay, so just two strums on that, and then finish it with a B minor chord, and uh, you can either just fret the normal chord or you can just do the 2E, 3B, 4G, and just two strums on this, one measure's worth. Okay, and then we just repeat that. Alright, now we'll get a vocal that comes in and uh, get on with this verse section and the chords for this uh, it's kind of just going along with more what the uh, you know the keyboard strings are doing and this you can just strum it as normal if you like uh, depending on whatever you know try to vibe you're trying to get with this um, but it would just be uh, two measures worth of a, just a normal E chord okay then do a F sharp minor two measures D two measures and B for two measures. All right, and we repeat that progression three times. After we get through that progression three times, we kind of kick into a, a new vocal section. Uh, 
I guess you could call this the chorus or, you know, the pre main riff section there. Um, but uh, this will just be now a G for two measures. Okay, D for two measures. E minor, couple measures. All right, and then just finish with an A chord for two measures. All right, and during the uh, when the vocal comes in for that verse, there's actual a pretty faint kind of subtle uh, lead guitar thing going on, and uh, it's a pretty fun little uh, thing to do here. Um, we could just uh, start off where we're just kind of going with these small little chords that are essentially the D and the B string. Um, we slide up to nine on the D and hit uh, nine on the B. Okay. And now we're going to hit them together where we slide back up to it again, the nines. Okay, now we go to sevens. All right, now we split it. We go to six D five B. Okay, and then back to the sevens. All right, and then just finish that off by coming up to eleven D ten B. Okay, so try that first section here slowly. Something like that. All right, and the next section, we start where we're on our 11 D 10 B. Go to nines, sevens, back to nines, and then end on sevens. Next section. Uh, this we kind of just switched more to uh, D and the G string. Okay, we'll be at seven on the D, uh, six on the G. Okay, then we go six D, four G. Take that same shape down two frets, four D, two G. Back to the six and the four and then back to the four and the two. All right, and then we just wrap it all up by doing a quick little four, two, and then slide to one on the D. All right, so get the whole thing going here. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.